In this video, I'm going to show you how incredibly easy it is to make an awesome video in Adobe Spark Post. So if you were assigned to make a video in Adobe, you're going to go up here to the blue plus button, and then you're going to select video. When you select video, it's going to take you to a screen where you can enter the title of your video if you know it. So here I'm just going to write demo video and then click next. The first option you'll be given is an option to select from some different templates. You're free to choose from these templates if you'd like, or you can just start from scratch. So if you start from scratch, it's going to just take you to a basic video builder. Now, when you think of video, you probably think of actual video content, but with Adobe, you can also make videos out of images. You don't actually have to have video content, but if you do have video content, you can bring that in as well, which makes it really cool. So here you'll see that you have some different options for what you can do. First, you'll see at the bottom that the video builder is essentially structured like slides. So if you click the add button, it's going to add new slides and those will be different parts of your video. I'll start now by adding some text so that you can get an idea of what this looks like. I'm going to hit plus in the middle and then I'm going to add text. So here I'll start with my demo video. So you'll see that I can make that text smaller or I can make it larger and I can also delete it if I want. Then once I have the size of the text, I can change the layout of the slides on the right hand side. If I want to have a split screen, I can choose split screen, which will allow me to add a video, photo, or icon next to my text. You can set it up to be a caption style so that the text indicates what media is on your video page, or you could set it up to be title and text, in which case you would have larger text on the top and smaller text on the bottom. Let's go back here to full screen. Now that I have some basic text, let's look at some different theme options. If you go to the theme tab, you'll see that you have some different themes you can choose from. And if you hover over those themes, it's going to show you what that theme will look like. In addition to the theme, you also can choose from different colors that you would like to appear in your video. So let's go ahead here to orange, and then I'm going to select title. Before we look at some of these other options, let's go ahead now and bring in a background image or video behind this video slide. So here I'm going to go to the add button on the top left hand side of the screen, and then let's start by adding a photo. So here I can search from photos that are going to be available through either Unsplash or Pixabay, both of which are websites that allow you to use images without worrying about copyright violation. And you also have the option to upload a photo from your own computer. So this would be a great idea if you're being asked to do something where you need to take pictures and then bring them in to a video. Let's just go ahead here and start with find free photos. And I'll just find a photo of a wolf since that's my favorite animal. Now that we have our image in the background, there are a couple more things that we can do. One choice you have is to add your own voiceover to this slide. So if you wanted to be explaining something that is happening, for example, you could click on the microphone, hold down, and then it is going to record your voice. When you stop holding down on the microphone, it will add your recording to that slide. And if you press play and don't like what you hear, you can go over here to the clock, select it, and then click remove narration. Speaking of the clock, what this does is change the duration of time that this slide will play. So if you drag it longer, it's going to stay on this slide for a longer period of time. Whereas if you drag it to be a shorter amount of time, it will play this slide quickly. Generally, you're going to want the slides to move relatively quickly, but you want to be careful not to make it so fast that nobody can read or understand what's on that particular slide. Yet at the same time, you don't want to make it really, really long so that people get bored. So for example, for this type of slide, something like three to four seconds would probably be a good choice. And we can see how that would look here. <laughs> Now you notice that there was some music in the background of that slide as well. I can customize the music that I put in by going up here to the music tab. So if you click on music, 
the first thing that you can do is choose whether or not you just want to turn music off. You might want to have music off if you're planning to have your own videos with sound in them or do your own voiceovers. You can also adjust the volume to make the music louder or quieter. Then you can choose to either add your own music. So if you have your own music files from your computer, you can select those or you can bring in music that's already built in within Adobe Spark. So if you click on one of the pieces of music and then press play, you'll be able to preview that music. And then if you click on it, it will add it to your video. Great, now that we have this slide done, let's move on to another one. So here, let's go ahead and check out what it would look like to bring in an icon. You'll see that it's already detected what I searched for in the last slide, which was a wolf, and then it's pulling up some icons for a wolf. So if I selected one, it would show up now in my slide. One way you might want to use icons is actually with the split screen layout. So if you select split screen, it's going to push that icon over to one side and then allow you to put some text on the other. And then again, you would have the option to add that voice over there if you wanted to as well. So now we've looked at text, photos, and icons, but what would happen if we brought in a video? Let's check that out now. So here I'm going to bring in my own video that I have on my computer. You can only bring in short 30 second video clips in Adobe Spark. So it's not really built for long videos, but rather just shorter video clips. So what you might do is take a video with your smartphone or with a tablet, for example, and then download that onto your computer and bring that video in. So for example, I took this video of my dog on my smartphone, downloaded it onto my computer, and now I can add it into Adobe Spark. The editing tool below will allow you to clip sections from your video. And this bar represents those 30 seconds. So if your video is longer than 30 seconds, you're going to see that you're not able to bring in that entire video. So you just have to drag it to the 30 second segment that you wanted to add. Similarly, if you only wanted to bring in a really short segment, you could clip it way down so that it's just this short segment at the end that you're bringing in. And then when you're ready to bring that section of the video in, you're going to click save. Now that that video clip is uploaded, you can also add text over the top of the video. So now that we've seen what it's like to add an image in the background with some text over the top to add some music into our video, then create a split screen with an icon, as well as bring in our own video clip. Let's see what this video would look like. So looks pretty cool and didn't take me a lot of effort to make. And then if I want to add additional slides to the video, I can continue to add them below. And then if I need to drag them in different places, I can drag them around. And again, if I want the duration of that slide to be longer or shorter, I can do that there as well. And if you want to delete a slide because you decide that you didn't need it, you can just click delete and that will get rid of it. So let's say that we're ready to actually publish or share this video. One option is that you could download the video which will put the video on your computer. Another option is that you could click the share link. If you click on share and then click publish, click create link, and then copy the link and share that link wherever your teacher has asked you to turn it in. Mm -hmm. 